there is a marker a, a green marker with the airplane and if you walk into that marker you will see in the top left of the screen it will tell you instructions on what to press to go to vice city all right so let's go ahead and press that once you press that you will see you've been teleported inside of a uh, plane and you will start to take off from the airport los santos international airport and the plane will start to fly all the way out to vice cry Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right yo games and graphics we are making a building with another gta 5 mod tutorial for you and today we are going to be making an updated video on how to install vice cry all right there was going to be a lot of links down in the description, so make sure you go down to all of these links and download all of these content that we are going to need to install this, all right? So the first one up is going to be Liberty City um, V Remix, all right? This one right here is um, created by um, El, El Credor and uh, Lauren and a couple of other creators as well, all right? All the information is down here to all of the people that uh, contributed to this project. Now, there is a bunch of maps that you could get with this, all right? Now, when you download this, it's going to give you some uh, links that you could download any type of map that you want to, including Vice Cry, Liberty City, and so forth, all right? So make sure that you scroll down after you have uh, read the full description in the side column. You go all the way down and you will see the download button right here. It will say download. So go ahead and select that to download this. The next link in the description will lead you to this page. The game config right here. This one is created by F7YO. Shout out to the creator. You will want to download this as well. The V30 current and select the green arrow to download. And there will be another link that will lead to the heap adjuster any page. This one is created by Dilapidated. There we go. Dilapidated. Shout out to the creator. Um, what you want to do is select the green arrow right here where it says current in order to download this. And you want to go to the next link that will be pack file limit adjuster. And you want to select where it says current and select the green arrow to download. The next link will lead you to the remastered atlas colored map. It's, by, it's created by Lauren um, Vidikin. Shout out to the creator. You want to scroll down here and you want to select um, the current right here, the 411 standard current. You want to select this to download. And then also, um, we are going to need um, this right here, this link right here. If you select this link, it's going to lead you to this page. You want to download this as well. Select the download button. And then you also want to download the Atlas map for Vice Cry. This one is also created by Lauren Vidigan. We want to select this where it says current, select the green arrow to download. All right. We want to make sure that we have our Liberty City Remix links downloaded, our game config, heap adjuster, pack file limit adjuster, remastered Atlas colored map, as well as our fix for the collisions in our mini maps and also our atlas map for vice cry as soon as you have all of these downloaded it should look something like this on my left hand side i have all of our downloads now as of for requirements we are going to need open 4 we will not be installing open 4 although i will leave a link in the description to a video showing you how to install open 4 if you don't have it already all right so on my right hand side i have my gta 5 directory opened up and ready to go we are going to need a mods folder for this so if you don't have a mods folder go ahead and uh, create a new folder and name it mods all in lowercase after you have that created go ahead and open up your open 4. i have my open 4 opened up right here on the right hand side before you go any further make sure that you have your edit mode turned on it's this little button right here after that has been turned on we are going to start with um the liberty city v remix installed okay that is the first one that we downloaded inside there like i told you it's going to be links it's going to be another folder and inside that folder is going to be images and then we will have our download links when you select that text document this will pop up right here and um, there's going to be a lot of links for different other maps as well 
but we are going to be installing the vice cry east original all right so you want to go ahead and um take this link right here that i have highlighted and you want to go ahead and put that in your browser and download that all right so after you have downloaded your vice cry east original it should look something like this right here liberty city remix and vice cry west all right let's go ahead and open up that inside of here we are going to have our necessary file that we need all right so all the way at the bottom you are going to see a oiv package that says vice cry east original map that is the one that we are going to be installing so you want to select that drag it over here to your open four then the package installer should open up all right from this point we want to select install and then select mods folder then select install confirm installation all right after that is done we want to bring up our gta 5 directory then we want to go inside mods folder and then go inside update 64 dlc packs and then go inside vice city okay go inside vice city and when you open it up um, you are only going to have just this one dlc right here so what you want to do is go back to your downloads and you want to select the vice city folder that's at the top and inside that vice city folder you are going to have both of these um archives right here dlc and dlc1 you want to take these and drag and drop these over here to your vice city folder once that has been dragged and dropped and you have um, all of your dlcs you are all good to go from here we could start um bring this back to our directory and we could go back and go to the next one that we are going to be installing which is going to be the remastered atlas colored map okay we are installing the remastered atlas colored map open that folder inside that folder uh we are going to be installing this one number three low quality 8k uh times 12k you can feel free to go ahead and install the high quality but um i just wanted to install the low quality just to make sure that it works for everybody so let's go ahead and um, open up the three low quality 8K times 12K. Open up that one and we are going to have a OIV package right there. Let's go ahead and bring back up our open four. Then we're going to select this OIV package, drag and drop it, drag and drop it over to open four. Then select install on the package installer, then select mods folder, then select install confirm installation. Once that is done, let's go ahead and go back, then go back again. Next one we are installing is the Atlas GTA 5 style map with radar for Vice Cry. All right, open that folder. Inside that folder, we are going to do the same thing we did in the previous. We are going to go inside the three low quality 8K times 12K folder. Okay, so open up the three low quality 8K times 12K folder. Inside that folder, we are going to have three folders and have three options. So for today, we're installing Vice Cry. So let's select the Vice Cry map. All right. So open up the Vice Cry folder that is going to have our OIV package inside. Go ahead and select it. Drag and drop it over to Open 4. Then the package installer window will open up. Go ahead and select Install. Mods folder. Install Confirm Installation. After that is done, let's go ahead and go back to our download. Select the back arrow. Next up, we want to go into our fix the collisions and mini maps for the latest update. All right. We want to select this folder right here. And in that folder, we are going to have some more OIV packages. Now, we only need this last one right here. It's called fix the mini maps. That way we could see um, the new map in the mini map. All right. The Atlas and as well as Vice Cry in the mini map. So let's go ahead and select fix the mini map right here. Select that. Drag and drop it over to your open four. Another package installer will open up. You want to select install, select mods folder, and then select install confirm installation. After that is done, we are all good with this one. Let's select the back arrow. Now it's important that you go in order how I did when installing the Atlas maps. You have to install the remaster Atlas colored map first, and then you install whatever other um, add-on map that you installed. We installed Vice Cry, so you install that next. 
and then you have to install the fix the collisions in mini maps for whatever map that you want you have to go in that order all right so the next one that we are going to be installing is our game config okay we are going to select our game config right here and open that folder up inside there we are going to select this folder right here which is gta config v30 inside that folder we are going to have two more folders it says for less mods or for more mods i'm going to select for more mods and in here we are going to have more selections i like to select zero one times traffic zero one times pits feel free to select any one that you like but just to make sure that the game doesn't crash i would select one of the minimum ones you also have a base uh, which is this one right here with stock traffic it's all the way at the bottom all right so i'm going to go ahead and select a zero one times traffic zero one times pits inside there we are going to have our game config let's go ahead and head to our open four select the mods folder select update select update.rpf select common select data and inside data we are going to be dragging and dropping our game config right here so once that has been dragged and dropped, we are all good to go from there with the game config. Let's go back to our downloads where we had all of our downloads. Next, we want to go inside of our heap adjuster any. OK, it's going to say heap adjuster slash any. You want to open up that folder inside this folder. We're going to have two files. These files are going to be going inside of our directory. Let's go ahead and select file on open four, close all archives and bring up our GTA five directory. And we're going to highlight both of these files for the heap adjuster, drag and drop both of them right here into our GTA five directory. Once that has been dragged and dropped, we could go ahead and select the back arrow. Now we need to go into the next folder, which is pack file limit adjuster. Go ahead and select that pack file limit adjuster and blow these up. And we want to take these two files I have highlighted pretty much these two files except the readme and we're going to drag and drop those over to our gta5 directory once that oops once that has been uh dragged and dropped over to our gta5 directory uh that is it for now we are all done with installation and also to let you know i am playing on the latest update um, I forgot to mention that earlier, but I am playing on the latest update, all right? So I am on the Drug Wars update right now. So after everything has been installed, um, we are all good to go from here. Let's go ahead and minimize any of the windows we might have open and run the game. All right, as soon as you spawn into the game, you should see the changes um, that have been, you know, taking place on the mini map. If you look at the mini map, it should look different. Um, and if you open up the map, you should see the Atlas map right here. Um, let me go inside my simple trainer just to make sure that I have uh, revealed the full map. There we go. All right. Now, if we open up our map, we will see the Atlas map. And then this is where our um, Vice Cry is going to be right over on this side. Now, in order to get to Vice Cry, if you come over here, you will not see it. OK, it's only going to appear when you get close to it. So the way that you get to Vice Cry, you want to go down to the airport. And if you look at the airport, you will have a new blip of a plane. And that will say Los Santos International Airport fly to Vice City. So we're going to go ahead and go there or you could just go ahead and press function key F2 function key F2 is going to open up the LC map disabler menu from this point you could go ahead and um, select autopilot marks in Los Santos Airport by opening that first option it will have the other options to teleport to the airport to each one of these maps that you might have installed okay so for today we only have Vice City installed let's select autopilot Vice City and that is going to teleport you here to the airport. All right, let's go ahead and exit out of this um, LC map disabler menu. And if you look behind me, there is a um, there is a marker, a, a green marker with the airplane. And if you walk into that marker, you will see in the top left of the screen, it will tell you instructions on what to press to go to Vice City. All right, so let's go ahead and press that. Once you press that, you will see you've been teleported inside of a uh, plane and you will start to take off 
from the airport, Los Santos International Airport, and the plane will start to fly all the way out to Vice Cry. As you see, the screen fades out and fades back in. After that, you should see the whole map in front of you and you see the map on the mini map as well so that way you can drive around the whole map and actually see where you're at and where you're going now sometimes the pilot isn't that great with landing but just be patient he will eventually land you and you will have a car waiting for you when you land that car right there to the left that is going to be your rental car <laughs> yes your rental car all right when the plane stops just press uh, the same button you will press to exit out of a vehicle and you will get off the plane say goodbye to the pilot and we can go ahead and jump inside of our car and drive around all right You don't have to necessarily take the ramps, I just like to, you know, be different. Alright, there we go, we made it successfully. And I'm going to drive around just for a little bit, not going to drive around the whole entire map. I'm going to leave that up to y'all to go ahead and experience and do. And then get back in the comment section and let me know how much fun y'all had. That's right, that's right. So as you can see, we have the whole map and we have traffic as well. You're seeing cars drive by. There are people um, walking around, I believe, also. So now we're crossing over the bridge right behind the taco truck. Yep, there goes people. So we do have uh, traffic and peds out here. All right. There are tons of scripts that works um, out here in um, Vice Cry as well. I believe uh, LS Life. This is one of them, Ellis Life works out here too. So as you can see everywhere we drive, we're starting to see cars and more cars and traffic. There are some interiors in here as well. I believe it's like the club or something like that. Um, let's see, we could even go inside here, I think, bunch of tools. So you'll see a few stores like this, uh, some pizza shops you can just walk into. You know, you'll see the the props or whatnot so it's supposed to be a tool store so we got screws on the table you got your uh, your tool thing right there so yeah <laughs> so you will have little interiors and stuff like that around as well all right so um, keep in mind I'm going to remind y'all that um, you could press F2 by pressing function key F2 it's going to open up this LC map disabler menu and you will have the option to go to autopilot marks at the Los Santos airport and that will um, open up the menu where you could um, teleport to Vice City uh, actually teleport to the airport to fly to Vice City okay now there is another option if you go down to autopilot marks and map and mods maps okay that's autopilot marks and mods maps if you go there then you will have the option to fly straight there okay so I think uh, these automatically teleport you um, to the map that you chose without the flying if I'm correct all right so if you just want to skip the flying and just get here you want to select the autopilot Vice City East because that's the one that we just installed all right so we are going to end the tutorial right here, but if this helped y'all out to install it, or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, e and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This game's graphics. Me and uh, Big Ballin' as Frank. Big Ballin' Default Frank. We're out of here. Until next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.